everybody, welcome to today's video. And as you can see, I am not at home in Houston. I am in Indian Town, Florida, visiting my stepmom and my dad right before Christmas. And we are going to do something very special for you today. There is something that I grew up with, a tradition in my family that I had every holiday, which is actually something that my father had as a child and he would make for me, and it's a German pound cake called a puffer. And he's gonna tell you a little bit more about that in just a minute. But this is a real treat. It is, it's a smell and a taste of my holiday that's so special. And what I love about Christmas is the sense of tradition. And this is something that I wanted to pass along to you. So the three of us are going to be here in the kitchen and we are going to make and prepare our puffer and walk you through it. Are you ready? Good. So first off, you're going to need a buttered and floured bunt cake pan. In this bowl, we have three cups of sifted flour. We also have a teaspoon of baking powder and a dash of salt. Right here, we have the juice of a lemon as well as the lemon rind grated in. Over here, we have one cup of sugar. Here, we have eight ounces, one cup of milk, which we're going to warm. In here, we have two eggs that we will whip, and we have half a cup of raisins and half a cup of almonds. There you go. Right now, my stepmom is preheating the oven to 375. All right. Here are the two pieces of butter right. to be melted now. And I do that on a very low heat just to warm the pot, because one thing to ruin a puffer right at the outset is to burn the butter. So the butter is just being melted, not burned, not browned. And you will see when I'm done with this, when I add the sugar, then I melt the sugar into the butter. Anything that starts with two sticks of butter is really good in my book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right now, so the butter is being melted on a medium setting, not high, not low. Mm -hmm, that is correct. All melted now. And uh, we are going to add the sugar. Yes. All I do is, at this point, we turn the heat off because the pot will hold enough residual heat and I quickly put the sugar into the liquid butter. Make certain that you don't let the sugar sit on the bottom and start just melting sugar. You want to melt the sugar into the butter. See, and now that I just mixed this stuff up, I'm going to take the pot and move it off the heat. And now spent my time quietly stirring, dissolving the sugar. Yeah. The whole trick of the puffer really is the melting of the sugar into the butter. Mm. If that is not done properly, no good cake here. Uh-oh, can't have that. So take this easy, do it slowly, keep on mixing, keep on mixing, keep on mixing. One little trick, try to get a fine granulated sugar because it takes less time to melt it into the butter. Mm -hmm. I am pouring the, the milk to bring it, but only on a lukewarm level, only lukewarm, not hot. So, so we're just warming the milk at this point. That's right. First ingredient that goes into the butter and sugar is the lemon juice. And so you're cracking the two eggs and you're going to whip them because it's a lot easier to blend in a beaten egg as opposed to the yolk and the white. Just a little bit like this, just to break the yolk mm -hmm. and also break the white. And then you're ready to pour it later on after the almond and after the raisin. This would be the last ingredient to pour before the flour. I think we can now add raisins and almonds to be stirred in. It starts to get colorful in there, doesn't it? Ah. Okay. So this has been done. Mm -hmm. We're adding the eggs. 
fill all the liquid mixture first before the flour. Flour, that is correct. Mm -hmm. So everything has now been properly blended in. Now comes the final part, the flour. Aha! And there is the oven. The oven is saying I'm ready for you. Us I'm ready to go. Okay. One half of the flour. Okay. And one half of the lukewarm milk. Mm -hmm. Part one of the stirring. And so the purpose of doing it slowly is that it all gets blended in evenly? That is correct. Mm -hmm. I'm coming in for the close-up because this is when it starts looking like a cake. Using one half, it is a little bit liquid mm -hmm. and very easily to mix in. Right. After that is blended in, mm -hmm. comes the second half of flour and the second half of the milk. And the rest is a matter of stirring so that I can hand off this to Gislaine to put it into the form and into the oven. This is the dough which will now go into the form. But before it does, it must go into my mouth because... Aha, mm. you want to test. Mm. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy for the tummy, right? I remember I would get a spatula <laughs> after you poured that baby into the bump pan and I would lick this thing dry with a spatula. <laughs> yes, mm. that is correct. Mm. That is delicious. We love to do that when we are kids. I did the same and so did Gislin. Mm -hmm. We still do it. <laughs> okay, ready for its new home. Now I can hear all the little children saying, Mommy, Mommy, leave me some. Don't scrape the pot. Leave exactly. Me some. <laughs> so yeah. Isn't that right? I think uh, we all collection. did that. Yes, we did. So now. Oh, I'm there's my pot. <laughs> there's my pot. There's my pot. Bye bye. Happy cooking. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. I know it is. It's so is good. It six, six, Let me see. Mm. Oh, look at that beauty. Perfect. It has to crack. Has to crack? It has to crack. Oh, yeah. very it has, important. It's cracked. That's yeah. right. That's so you need the crack and the slight tannish color. Now the king has to rest for about 15 minutes and then you just lift up, you know, the, the cake with the chimney and you let it sit again for until it's cool and then you remove it from the plate, you turn it around and it's ready. Okay, it's ready. Squeeze. Tasting party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what we're gonna have, a tasting party. Okay, so here we are. Puffer is complete. And before we even take a bite, I have to share Chef Pierre in action at what, age four, maybe? Yes, age, uh, we got to shortly before his fourth birthday. birthday. There you go, licking the batter from the plate. So the tradition continues all the way through. <laughs> I love it. Are you guys ready? Oh yeah. Ah, how wonderful. Absolutely. Enjoy. 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 Merry Enjoy. Christmas. Have a great time with your family and create wonderful traditions. God bless. Be bold and be blessed and we'll see you in a week. Bye.